On behalf of the Lord Mayor and Brandon Carr, I'd like you all to welcome you to the plenary of the Dublin City Public Participation Network and thank you all for giving time. The PPN is a network and register of community, social inclusion and environmental groups in the city. The focus of the PPN is to empower and assist groups to participate in local decision making. And it is an independent structure. It's independent from Dublin City Council and it's your opportunity to participate as a ground up approach to decision making. It's important because it's the way to feedback about from the, from the lowest levels, from the grassroots as you, if, you, if you wish, to feedback to the people who take decisions about what's the people's opinion about what happens around them. So it, it's a way of bringing the opinion of, of every simple citizen who is active in the, civic, in the civic arena to the decision makers. We are to represent the community groups on local authority committees, support and networking opportunities for community groups, and the provision of information for group and acts as a hub around which information is distributed and received. So the strategic policy committees um, essentially look after the kind of main functional areas of the council and we do a lot of work before it goes to the council. So um, in order to be able to coordinate our work, something like the LECP is great because we're able to identify the areas that are strategic importance and the high level goals that are there and see how they relate to our SPC. So for example, one of the things that um, we've been doing a lot of work on and getting involved in the last year is connecting up cultural institutions with members of the community and that all fits in in terms of bringing the work of the council out into the communities and integrating them into local communities and citizens. I have joined the PPN on behalf of the voices of young people in the North Inner City to get involved in the policy making process that the PPN does. So I would encourage any local groups or community organisations or youth organisations to get involved with Dublin City PPN. Most of the people I would represent in from the North uh, Side Forum um, would be in, living in areas that actually aren't very well designed and very poorly designed. So again the chance here would try to get the planning SBC to look at areas like that and think about not just designing for the city centre but design for the whole city. The local economic uh, and community development plan gives us a lot of information that informs the work that we do. So when you, when you see the cycle networks being progressed, when you see improvements in bus travel times and public transport, that's all stems from the plans that are put in place by the elected members, by the members of the PPN uh, and others over the period of the council. The crucial thing is to make sure those voices are heard and to feed what they say into the decisions that we make. I think I'd, I'd encourage everybody who's out there and who's active to come and join us because as a united voice, we know with the common platform, we might just be able to, to, to influence decision making.